Hello everyone, good day everyone. This is another edition of We Talk Testimony. We are glad to have you here. Yeah. My name is David Benjamin as and I am God's Power Okachi. Well, this is another edition of, like I said before, of We Talk Testimony. The last edition was actually very nice. It was really, really, really Yeah, it was. It was actually. And, and, and thank you for the comments as well. You, you were, that, that was, this, this comments were very encouraging. It showed that, I mean, we, it, it's very, very valuable and yeah. it's, it's really, really important that we discuss these things yes. you know it, it helps people understand that yeah, God, God exists his powers are real mm. and then we just need to keep trusting and believing yeah him. true yeah. true like like our pastor was always say what God cannot do does yeah. not exist yeah. and I think one of the reasons for testimonies mm. in the Lord's is to build up the faith of the, of the brethren exactly. so that we can come to the point of of, of, of maximum faith so immediately our pastor steps up because you are already believing already a moment he says you are healed it, it happens immediately. Remember what Jesus said, and um, when Jesus was about to pray for Lazarus, he said, Father, I thank you because I know you always hear me. Yes, knowing yes. was a testimony. Yes, 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 yes. So, so testimonies are essential. Yes. Now, you, might, you might feel ah, what I did doing, what I did every time that saying testimony, every time I did. Mm-hmm. You know, it's it's long. Long. Man, you know, it's important. It is. I remember when Jesus went to his hometown in, in Nazareth. You know, even he wanted to do great works, he was willing, but the faith of the people hindered him because yeah. they were looking at just like, no, be Jesus, we know Jesus, we come out from Nazareth yesterday, Jesus. The, yeah, they were, they were, they were, they belittled him with their faith, and he could not do much miracles. The scripture, the scripture recorded, and even in the wilderness, that that's 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 where God did a lot of miracles just so that these people could believe. And God always called them stiff necked people because even after all these miracles, they know they yeah, they are not just they still. Mm-hmm. And then God, because in his message, told Moses that they should record this thing so that the unborn children can read mm-hmm. it. And mm-hmm. yes, yes. Because these testimonies are actually they actually basis for Christians today to believe that God exists. Yeah, look, at, look at look at the dividing of the Red Sea. Oh my god. Look at manna from yeah. heaven. Manna from heaven. Look at look at how he, God God helped them to conquer their enemies. Look at Solomon. Look at King David and a whole lot and a whole lot. Okay, look at look at the prophets, the prophecy of um, Christ's birth, and then even into um, the New Testament before Jesus was born, the the prophet Zechariah, where he said he was not going to die before he saw the, the, birth, the birth of, of Jesus. Jesus. So so di- this yeah so so this this thing this testimony is kept on going going to keep humans believing that God exists yes, he and he exists in our world in our time yes in, in our, our time, time. Like, like our pastor always says you know you know he, he there is this confidence he has in God that he believes that there, there, there's this state, statement our pastor he, he would say my faith my faith is greater than your doubt it's a function of testimony yes yeah, God has it, it's a series of um, um, consistency in the miracles of God like God has been doing it over and over again so he knows that now he believes he, he doesn't believe to this show itself. Just come down and say, today you must be blessed. And everybody's like, ah. And you know, and, and and all you just have to do is key to that statement. Exactly. All you just have to do. You know, most times when you come to church, you make it it, 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 it seems as though we don't believe this thing. But the truth is, coming to church alone and putting your and putting your faith in the words of our pastor, in the words of God through our pastor, you know, it 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 it, it can propel a blessing that you have been waiting for for years. Exactly. I, I, there was a time I was talking to my sister and I said that. Your miracle can be at any point in time. Your miracle can be during the choir ministration or even the testimonies. Yes. Now, you can be listening to a testimony and then a, the ministration of the choir, a, st- a word or a line in that in that ministration touches your heart. And King, it's just holding on to that word. Immediately, a pastor comes forth and, and says the word. It, it, yes, even down the testimonies, there are some people that just by hearing a woman just gives a testimony and says, and, and I've been buying for 10 years and God blessed me with twins. And maybe the other person has been buying for 30 years and says, God, if you can do it for this person, I know you can do it for me. So the person is in expectation because testimony is um, better the expectation, the boost your faith. Yes. Person is like, and the moment that pastor says the word, the person by faith jumps up and takes it. Yes, no. God can do miracles. Yes. Exactly, exactly. He He's so amazing. And one of the beautiful parts is that um, you don't even need to, you don't even have to get the miracles in church. I mean, yeah. I mean, what I mean is, the miracles can happen even outside the church. Yes. Okay. Yes. Look, look at this testimony we're going to talk about in this, in this, um, in this episode. It was not even in church. Who knows how far he was from church? Mm. Or it was not even in Lagos. 
Do you understand? He was not even in Lagos. So look at the distance between him and his local branch, or him and between him and the headquarters in Lagos. Do you understand? So so miracles can happen anywhere. Oh, got to got time. They got to Ah! Yes. Do you know the testimony of the person in COVID? And then the, the person, and just when he was diagnosed with COVID, he said, Wait, let me watch my pastor. And then he watched here, my pastor. So he was watching the, the live stream of our pastor. Yeah, that was 2020. And our pastor said the word, and just dead. Just dead. Just dead. You know, we have seen this one happen before. I, I don't know how God was doing. Maybe he used to follow the internet, uh, you know. <laughs> but from Lagos to China, from Lagos to London, London. from Lagos yeah. to everywhere. Yeah. And, and we hear this testimony constant. God is not limited. Our oh, God is an unlimited he's not, he's not, God. Not limited by time, by space, by matter. Yeah. Every you just can, believe. Yeah. Just know. You just can even be in a confined area. And God will reach you there. What of the girl that was buried already, and the power of God got there. Or the man that was in his in his village or the charm under a tree, and the power of God touched the street. Pah! From from Lagos. Lagos. Oh, come on, it's, it's God is really really amazing. So let's not bore you with our plenty talk. I know you are anticipating to hear this one. So let's go down to the testimonies of of this wonderful work of our God. Let's yeah. let's let's quickly hear them. The testimony. A spring, quite spring, mm. and they try to push out. And when I got to them, I tried to help them to move out the spring. Before I knew it, the spring burst out my eye, my left, my right eye side. Praise the Lord. And the pierce inside it was hanging there. It's my right, right eye. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I shout, Jesus. I never knew when I pull it out. Not until we came back from the hospital. I asked them, I said, take me to the hospital. When we came back, I was asking them, where is that spring? They said, Oga, you are the one that pulled it out from your eyes. They said, me? They said, yes. I said, are you sure? They said, yes. Oga, we thought that you would draw it, but you raise it up and pull it out. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. Before I knew it, I went back to my house. 30 minutes time, I could not see again without my right eyes. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And I called my wife. I said, look, I closed his eyes. I said, I cannot see you at all. He said, are you sure? I said, yes. Now I'm going to be in direct to the hospital, eye clinic. I left to eye clinic that evening because around 4 o'clock, before I could get there, they have closed. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I slept in my younger brother's place. That night, I couldn't sleep because of the pain. Because the eyes rush out blood. Mm. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So I was feeling pain. And the morning, we drove to the hospital. And when the doctor checked it, he said, oh, he said he had damaged some cells. Mm. He said, when did it happen? I said, yesterday. She said, where? Um, you know, the way, the way she was behaving, I see that there's nothing she, do, she can do. Ooh. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And she told my younger brother's wife, she said, you see, um, when we try our best, but if only people believe. And when she was saying it, she looked, she looked at my t-shirt that I was putting on. I was putting on, only God can do this. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I never knew that that was the shirt I put on. But when she touched me like this, she looked at the shirt. She said, oh, that is choosing. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Choosing praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. And they gave us some... No, no, no. This, this is so <laughs> easy. Wow. Oh, 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 oh. Wow. Wow. Oh. Wow. Wow. I mean, I'm, 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 uh, I'm, I'm just it. trying to imagine what it means for something to enter the eye. Yeah, then what, what if eyes just touch your eye? Do you know how it feels like when mosquito flies into your eye like this? Just cut it, get like, it. I mean, I mean, the, the instinct to just take it off. I mean, it's just. <laughs> Uh, well, okay, now this, this testimony is. I'm really actually very sleepless. <laughs> he said he was in the shop with his boys and then he, they tried to pull out a spring from, from what they were working from on. What they were working on and it entered his eye. And do you know the funny part is when he came there that the thing came out? Pulled out. I mean, I mean, ah. <laughs> when, 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 when something wrong wants to happen to a man, it is intentional. That 
that's uh, that's that event happens intentionally and then if you don't have a greater force to to react and overcome that thing that human is subjected to that problem yeah, and that life is more spiritual I mean, than it's physical i don't think i don't really think there's any medical medical uh, um, intervention that can really work on that don't you hear what he said the, he said the doctor the, the doctor was the the, the optician was looking at him like oh my there's nothing there's you can do about, can do about this but let's just try our best but there is nothing we can do about that the, you know doctors can be very funny they will not tell you the truth they want to see, give you a little hope. They want to do just that feel so downcast. Ah, God, I feel, feel so emotional. Even, even, even I, um, I, I could see clips of people who, who were watching and then their facial expressions were just so sore. Like, <laughs> you, know, you know, after they rushed him to the hospital, after mm-hmm. the spring was, after he pulled out the spring, they rushed him to the hospital. Mm-hmm. He said throughout that night he could not sleep because it was gushing out blood. blood. I can imagine the pain. The pain he was going through. You know, this, this kind of organs, when when they are, when they are affected, it's it affects the whole body because because they're actually very 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 it's very vital. They are, they are, I, 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 can't, I I remember you know I have long lashes so. Sometimes after close my eye for a while, my lashes will enter into my eye, and it looks like I want to. You just don't want to remove it. You just want to remove it. I just. Wow, wow. I think we will we'll just have to go on and see what happened. You know, you know, I'm anticipating. The, the good part is that the woman saw that he was a chosen and she knew that oh he's that god of chosen that she recognized she recognized that this god that's, that's what we're saying testimonies the essence of the god of the god of chosen essence of it in fact the god of chosen and such prayers the god of chosen and such prayers i mean it's really 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 mind-blowing because she was able to recognize that oh Okay, yeah, these these people who are under this covenant have a track record of their God wow. being there for them, being wonderful for God them. Is then that means such a thing can happen to him. So even the doctor had faith because of what testimony yeah. she knew that okay, okay, this kind of things happen with this kind of people. That means it's just like um um in in, in the Bible days when God used to fight for the Israelites. Bible said people the nations around feared mm. that their god is with them because of the because of because of the, first of all the testimony of egypt yeah god when he god 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 egypt when yes. god divided the red sea and they, they began to fear every time every, anywhere israel goes they are always scared people are always scared of israelites track record. even jesus because of the track records of his healing the bible says everywhere when multitudes multitudes they followed him because they know that this guy will you know be this if he taught you one two one two <laughs> everything <laughs> Jesus, Jesus, Jesus is actually, and, and the power of Jesus is so, is so evident in this church. Exactly. Yes. Exactly. For this woman to say that. Oh, that is, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. I, okay, I remember, I remember that there's a song they usually sing in, usually sing in church. Um, the song says, um, "God cannot fail. God cannot fail. He will not fail in our time." Which means, now look at that word, in our time. God has never failed in time past. You know, humans, humans are subject to change. Yes. Right? Yes. yes. But God is not subject. He's not to subject to change. No, he's he's aligned, he's the same. So which he means it's not of yesterday, today. today, and forever. So he cannot change. He cannot change. No matter the no matter the, the, the danger the dangers that keep happening today, God cannot change. Yeah, he, can. he cannot change. He, he remains can. the same. So I think it'll be best if we continue and then because I am anticipating, I want to see what, what happened. I really, really want to see. And I would love everyone to see as well. Yes, yes, yes. Just that you did. So we spend the money from that on the third to on the fifth of January. I've not I cannot use this site very well. Mm. I could I cannot drive to a far place and manage place. myself. Like Praise the Lord. Place. Hallelujah. I went I went there on the fifth of January to the hospital, the fourth of January, to complain. He said where it was like she was living home. I now asked her, I said. Madam, if you don't even do, you please refer me to another hospital. He said, well, um, what is there? You can you go to UBCH. 
Rien de tout, sort correction. Je vais sur le Yes. To say praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And when she mentioned it, I look at her. I said, the God of you will fight for me and give me victory. To say praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So she brought two trucks, about 9,000 naira. As I'm talking to you, I spent up to 40,000 naira. Wow. For this very time. Wow. Up to no avail. To say praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. And my Christian brother, she called me, said, she will be coming to say that she will use her very good. Say, better. We will go together. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. We arrive here on the sixth. It's a Shahir. She will praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I cannot read the Bible with my glasses. As my dad is preaching, I was not feeling comfortable. I went outside. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. The next day, be on the seventh. Mm. Just in praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Our daddy was preaching. I look at my Bible. I was sharing tears. I could not see it very clearly. Praise the Lord. Just in praise the Lord. In the night, I come out in this altar here with a seed of faith in my hand. I say, God of choosing. I say that this year I will work for you. How will I preach to my people? How will I tell them what God of Jesus is doing? I remind God what he has been doing in my life. I saw that seed. Just in praise the Lord. Hallelujah. In the morning, I wake up freely. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. And as I was that he started the session, I sat down there in the front of the projector. I was watching it directly. The eye did not pay me again. Every pain in these right eyes. And the eyes I could not see anything. I was seeing directly. Oh, oh, Jesus. Oh. I was seeing directly. Hey. I sat down there till our daddy finished the message. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And if I sleep, if I, if I woke up in the morning, these eyes will be very strong. I cannot open it. But yesterday morning, <laughs> I, this morning, I opened it, I freely. Hey, I walked up to the bathroom. I come back successfully. Just impress the Lord. Hallelujah. <laughs> Do you know that all you have to do? If the, our pastor didn't be, you just have to say a seed on the other I've chosen. God. God is really Wow. Is it like, look at his eyes now. Yes, his eyes doesn't look like something that, that went through such. No, 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 not at all. <sighs> and the good part is God was faithful. All he just had to do was go to the front of the altar because and he brought his strong reason to the God of choosing. Exactly. Our pastor didn't have to pray. That means that's that's you know the, every time we start program um, before the program kicks off, somebody comes up to make an announcement that this place angels are everywhere, and it was on the day of the program. Um, 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 what God um, what God has determined must must be done. Yeah. And then he he he, he, he that second he tapped into the 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 the, the covenant in this church mm-hmm. like you'd always say, wow, the God of choosing answers prayers indeed. Oh, like 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 I mean, one one thing for me is his faith. Yes, his faith. Like he had so much. Faith. Okay, he said the first day he came. You know, you know. Okay, from 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 the kind of testimonies we have in this church. Many people usually receive their, their, their miracles, their deliverance. It's the first day of the program. Many of them, it's even their first time, time yeah. of coming to the church. They define these things. However, I, I believe he must have had this man that once I reach the church, I don't worry, I trust God. It's the first day, go walk. The first day, like, it was as if nothing happened. Like, I, I believe his faith was like 100%. He knew, he trusted that God, this thing will work. Yes, yes, like, I believe. Okay, look at look at look at um the, um the woman in the Bible where she came to meet Jesus that Jesus should heal her son and Jesus said she's not an Israelite she's not a Jew like these things are not really meant are not meant for them she said even dogs eat from the crumbs of the table mm. and uh, their faith so, so, is their faith he, he bought Jesus bread like okay you look look at uh, let, let's like him the centurion to be like the minister of defense mm. you know the kind of People that were working with him, and then he comes to meet the pastor. And the pastor says, um, I don't have a big house, let me follow you to your place. I said, He said, No, sir, I trust what is inside of you. I look at I have thousands of them at home. No, that's why the scripture says, If thou canst believe, all things are possible to them that believe. And then, when, when he told Jesus that you can't, I believe that you pray for me here, and my son will be healed. Yes, he so said, I have never seen such a fit in Israel. That was another brain buster for Jesus Christ. And then, 
likely to this situation. He trusted. You know, it can be disappointing when in Brazil, you're expecting doesn't happen when you expect. Mm, yes, you know, true. It can be very, very disappointing, especially in conditions that are very painful. Look at him now. He needed his eyes. He needed it. Too. He's working. He has family to feed. He has children. I mean, his children probably in, 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 in university. And then he needed these things. And then it's painful when you come the first day, nothing happened. You can even lose with that. Ah, this you cannot have on this first day. Like, like and people say, it cannot happen again. But his trust was still there. His trust was still there. And it, it, you know, the good part is he said, God, oh, this eye, I'm sowing a seed. This eye, he now will not go to preach. So he was even concerned about souls, even what he, he, he needed the eye. Because you know, you know, you know, you know, people today, when, when you're going to preach to them, and then you are seeming like you have a, a, a problem. Firstly, yes. A problem. They don't listen to you. They begin to feel like our Jesus is, is wicked, he's partial, he's poor, he's not considerate. Mm. Especially to those that don't even believe that Jesus is God, or those that don't even believe in God at all. I don't believe that God exists. But when you are complete, Jesus was an evidence of God's faithfulness. True, true. Because, because he had everything he needed, right? Yes. He had everything he needed. It's full of grace and power. truth. Everything. So people just came. Whenever Jesus enters this um, maybe in Jesus enters Lagos, for instance, everybody will say, Jesus, Jesus can everybody leave their businesses and come and find Jesus. And Jesus will say, ah, like our Jew always says, do the will of God and cross. So, you know, it's, it's coming from the scripture, Matthew 6 33. Seek it first, the kingdom of God, and every other thing shall be added to, unto you. This 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 testimony is a testimony that should is a wake up call to believers that all they need is faith in Jesus. Exactly. That Jesus can reach out to you wherever you are. You all you need is where you are. Yes. You need to, all you need is faith because because even our righteousness is gotten by faith. We are Christians. The Bible says that we walk by faith and not by sight. See, God, it, it might, it, I might still be feeling the pain here, but because I trust in the God that I serve, even this very God of Jesus, He can heal that thing. You know, some of you can be carrying cancer for as long as you can. All you need to do is believe that I believe that God through my pastor will heal me. And then you begin to put, the Bible says, looking on to Jesus, the author and the finisher of our faith. Faith is the evidence of things. Oh, for you might not be seeing it, but because I already believe that God can do this thing. A friend of mine asked me what's the difference between belief, trust, and faith. There, there was an analogy he gave, but then he, 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 he was saying that trust is, from, let me use my own word, you get to that point where you are not just believing, you are not just having faith, you, you are sure, you are, you are sure that you are sure. Yeah, the trust is God. Yes, you, you are getting the point now. now you, because you have seen this, this, this miracles in the Lord's choosing. This is not the first time. No, and and like choosing is is enough reason why you should trust the God of choosing. Exactly, because you are just under you're not just under a, you're not just, you're not just under um, being a Christian. You know, um, I believe that there are, in in different spiritual settings in Christendom, there are different angels, yes. different systems that work with them. There is a system that works with you because you're a Christian. There's a system that works with you because because you are a devoted. Mm. And there is a system that works with you because you are a chosen. Remember, I'm um, we usually sing choosing is blessed by, by the most high God. God. Yeah, choosing is blessed and we shall not be it's a covenant. Yes, now being a chosen is a covenant, so so you are guarded by this covenant. Yes, not just not just as a Christian now, not just as anyone who believes in God, not just as anyone who attends church, mm. but as someone who identifies under that covenant to be a chosen. No, being a chosen. It's just, it's just like um, like the God of Abraham, you know, the, the, the covenant in Abraham's life moved even down to his, his unborn, to, to the fourth, the third, the fifth, several generations, down to us, even down to us that are, 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 are children of Abraham by faith in by Christ. Faith. Not, we are, not even by beard, by, by faith. faith. All you do, you see, like I always say, the body of Christ, it, 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 God made them systematically for the building up of the body. The Bible says that that He, he gave some apostles and and all, and all the rest and all the rest for the education. The word education is the building up of this body of Christ and the perfecting of the saints. Exactly. So you, we are here. God, God has brought us in in this movement. God has raised this church up. I can always say we demand it with, with with an authority, with with an anointing called the powers of old. Exactly. So as you are tapping it. To this all you oh, need yeah. to do is have faith. After that, the power of us of all is ah, ah, what have we not seen in this church? What have we not heard? Whoa. What, what have we not heard? We have seen we have seen miracles upon miracles that a man came with bone to a program and nothing happened. Nothing happened. No, it did not explode. We know our God. 
He said, those that don't know their God, they are strong. We know the God of children that we are found. He goes to the beings. Several testimonies where, okay, I remember a testimony of a boy that, that was born with tail. Yes. And then even his father wanted to kill him because, because he was looking like a monkey. Because look at his <laughs> no, no, it's actually very funny. It's actually, he wanted to kill him. It was even so abnormal. And then, by prayers, the tail, I think the tail dried. I don't think he, 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 he fell off. He fell off. Fell off. His, his body turned back to normal. Okay, okay. If, if you are still savoring on this one, I remember the testimony of a lady that was born without private parts. Mm. I don't know. The one without room. Before you go to room, before you go to room, she was born without a private part. Born, you, you're not even normal with other people. And then she wanted to get married. Somebody was interested in her. I mean, can someone be interested in me? I, I don't. And she's like, how is someone interested in me? I mean, it's weird. What do I even do? How do I even tell this person? Probably she, probably she, she likes the person. She said, okay, this this person has virtue. This person can actually complete her in a lot of ways as a partner for life. And then she opened up to this person, to the brother, and thank God that the brother was matured enough to follow it up as a Christian. I think he he he, he is a chosen too. So he believed. That, ah, God can actually create, um, um, God can actually cause a deliverance. I mean, it is weird believing from. I mean, it's it, it has never been heard anywhere. I don't think I've ever heard it anywhere. It is even if it has been heard, it's a weird, very weird thing. So for him to have trusted that God can go to this extent to do this, it's something. And then they went to church and prayers were made. And lo and behold, the Lord made a creation. Mm. The Lord made the creation, and today I, I, I think I learned the, the, the I think she testified they have kids already. Wow! So now let's go to the one that is that that, that was without God. Without God. God. You see, this this God is very strategic. You know, like I would all he, he said he said they were asking Jesus about a blind man who sinned, and he said it, it, this this guy was made for for the glory of God. This you know, at the name of God be, be manifested. Yes. So. Like we are saying now, this these testimonies are not just that you can hear them and, and feel very happy that oh testimony. No, no, no. They are they are, they are to build your faith. Build because your faith. Faith, faith, faith is faith is the key word in this Christianity, in this Christian work. And and those that if you believe in this God, if you believe in God, there, there's nothing impossible with him. Exactly. Yes. yes. So no wherever you are, where, where, wherever you are, well, it doesn't matter where you are going to see. I, I know my God, like I was just saying, our God will be seen, they give us bad rules, bad rules. He is he's, he's accurate, he's straight to the point. You believe he gives it to you. This is also into a, into a program already because, <laughs> because this thing has stirred up my faith. His, his faith alone, his faith has already stirred up my faith already. Jesus was greater than many people's doubts. Yes, many people's doubts. All you had to do was believe. All you have to do is believe. And believe, like, like we did last week. After this, we are going to play our pastor's prayer. All you have to do is just believe. Even if you don't have to pray that God will help you, your faith. God will help you believe. You might be going through anything as you receive the don't receive the prayer by faith and god bless you thank you for watching thank you for watching thank you for staying tuned thank you for staying through our long discussion we know that you're blessed we are very sure exactly. even we are we are blessed honestly i am blessed i'm really really energized with this testimony yeah, i feel like i just go out and just do like small miracle and just come and go there but then we believe in god <laughs> we believe in god all right thank you everyone for watching this episode of we talk testimonies and yeah. we trust that your faith has been stirred up the link to this main video is the testimony in the in the description, the description the of this just go down like down like yeah. down here like just go down I've seen that I'll click on it you'll see in the description below and please thank you very much thank you very much don't forget to like us and tell your friends share it share it to everybody share it share, share it. it to be boosted my friend share it. Exactly. And, and we're going to pray our pastor's prayer please have faith came to it thank you God bless you keep Remember watching this. keep watching with your testimonies yeah. and then stay tuned we are coming for you next we are I'm coming for you. I'm coming for you. God bless you. Yeah. My daddy. All this one expecting a miracle. Father from today. Open a new chapter. I pray that favor shall be written there. Restoration shall be written there. Healing and deliverances and open doors have written there. No promotion shall be there. Child bearing shall be there. Husband and wife and children shall be there. 
My daddy take over the battle. Every battle that going in their marriage, in their head, in their business, in their family, Father, take over. I declare you free and blessed today in Jesus' name. Say amen again. One more time. And it is Emily.